Hey everyone, welcome back. I am the Electrical Code Coach from electricalexamcoach.com. And today we're going to be diving into drier load calculations. We're going to be in section 220.54 and looking at table 220.54. Let's head there now. When we get to table 220.54, we're always going to read our black bold heading to make sure we're in the right table. Great, I feel like we are. We're going to start on the left-hand side and find our number of dryers. Then we're going to use a straight edge and come over and find our demand factor in percentage. I want to make an important distinction at this point in the program. You have to be very careful with these titles right here. Sometimes they're listed in a replacement value and it just says demand. And in other tables, it'll say a demand factor in percentage. And we've learned that that is just a multiplier. Section 220.54 lets us know that dryers must be calculated at a 5,000 VA minimum or the nameplate rating, whichever is greater. Now, let's learn what a nameplate is. Equipment nameplates. A plate mounted on the equipment or engraved in the equipment that is stating its voltage, amperage, horsepower, and or its wattage. Now, it may only have a few of these, but as we've learned in previous lessons, we can apply Ohm's Law to find the unknown. Now that we're dealing with larger wattage appliances, we want to make something clear before we move on. We remember that 1 VA is equivalent to 1 watt, but what is a KVA? In our testing, it's the same as a KW, which is a kilowatt, which equals 1,000 watts. So it's true to say that 1 KVA is 1 KW for all of our testing. Now let's imagine that we have a dryer, and this dryer is a 5 KW. Well, it's also true to say that it's 5,000 watts. And at the same time, if they say that it was 5 KVA, it's also true to say that it's 5,000 VAs. Let's practice converting back and forth very quickly. Let's go from KVA to VA. So if we had 5 KVA and we wanted to go to VA, all we would have to do is take and multiply by 1,000, and that would equal 5,000 VAs. And the same if we wanted to go from VA to KVA, all we have to do is divide by 1,000, and it'll convert it over to KVA. You'll get very familiar with this and won't have to do any multiplying or dividing, but if you ever forget, that's all that you have to do. What is the total VA load you would calculate for one dryer with a nameplate rating of 4,500 watts? First, we find the total connected load. For this, we know that we have to do a 5,000 minimum or the nameplate, whichever is greater. So the 4,500 is gone and the 5,000 remains. Now, we check for demand factors. For this, we're going to head to table 220.54. And we're going to find that one through four dryers, it's at 100%, meaning that there is no demand factor. And we just select A. Great job. What is the total VA load you would calculate for one dryer rated at 5,200 VAs? First, we're going to find our total connected load. We know that we have to do a 5,000 minimum or the nameplate, whichever is larger. In this case, the nameplate's larger, so we're going to select 5200. Now that we have our total connected load, we're going to check for demand factors. For this, we head to table 220.54. When we get there, we find that for one to four dryers, it's calculated at 100%. There is no demand factor. And we're going to select C. What is the total VA load you would calculate for one duplex with one dryer in each unit and a nameplate rating of 4800 watts per unit? First thing we're going to do is we're going to find the total connected load. We know that it's a 5,000 minimum or the nameplate, whichever is larger. So the 4,800 is out and the 5,000 is in. Then we have to multiply it by our two units and that gives us 10,000. Now we check for demand factors. For this, we head over to table 220.54 and we're going to find that one through four ranges is calculated at 100%. And we're going to select A. What is the total VA load you would calculate for an 11 apartment multifamily dwelling unit with one dryer per unit and a nameplate rating of 5,000 watts? First, we're going to find our total connected load. We know that it's a 5,000 minimum or the nameplate, whichever is larger. We take our 11 units multiplied by 5,000 and that equals 55,000 VAs. Now we check for demand factors. We head over to table 220.54. When we get there, we find the demand factor for 11 is 
So we take our original load multiplied by the demand factor, and that gives us a new reduced load of 25,850 VAs. And we're going to select C. Great job. What is the total VA load you would calculate for a 17 apartment multifamily dwelling unit with one dryer per unit and a nameplate rating of 5,000 watts? First, we're going to find our total connected load. We're going to use 5,000 minimum or the nameplate, whichever is larger. We take our 17 units multiplied by 5,000 each, and that gives us 85,000 VAs. Now, let's check for demand factors. When we get to table 220.54, we're going to find that it's a 47% base minus 1% for each dryer past 11. So what we do is first have to figure out how many dryers we are past 11. We have 17 dryers minus the 11 base, and that lets us know that we're 6 past 11. Well, what this code is stating is that 47% was our base multiplier, and then what we're going to do is minus 1% for each one that we are past 11. We were 6 past 11, so we're going to take our 47% base minus 6, and that's going to give us a new demand factor of 41%. Now, all we have to do is multiply. We take our original load multiplied by 0.41, and that gives us a new reduced load of 34,850 VAs. And we're going to select B. Great job. That's the end of lesson 3.1. I want to encourage you and let you know that you're doing a great job and that you can do it. You can head over to electricalexamcoach.com to unlock all of the features in the pro version, including flashcards and practice quizzes. I want to let you know that I offer coaching 100% for free. All you have to do is just email me at electricalcodecoach at gmail.com. Let's get to it.